What's going on guys? In this video, we're talking about turning two at the shortstop position. I'm Coach Matt and you go probaseball.com. I'm here with Nick Shaw, former Brewers middle infielder and creator of the Baseball Box, a monthly baseball subscription box shipped directly to your doorstep. Tell us first a little bit about the box, how you got into it, and then tell us how you were able to turn plays uh, at shortstop as a middle infielder for the Brewers organization. So the baseball box all started when I was actually playing in the minor leagues. Every spring training during March, I would get a box shipped to me from my agent. And it was kind of the best day of spring training for me because I would get all kind of new gear, new batting gloves, you know, whatever I needed for that year, it would come to me in a box and ship to me. So I, you know, the moment I got done playing, I'm like, why can't I do that for youth baseball players? Not their agent, but I can send them something special every month to kind of excite them and gear them up for the month to come. Um, now, shortstop, we're gonna go over three zones of turning a double play and the basic footwork and the catch points um, related to those. All right, turning two from shortstop. Now, first things first, it's positioning. Where are my positions? For me, I wanted a straight line from home plate right to my shortstop position, double play depth. That way I knew immediately what kind of feed I'm gonna use based on the ball hit to me. Now, if the ball was hit to the right side of my line, so a couple steps to my right, this is the feed I'm using, the overhand feed. All right, notice the footwork here. We're down in our legs, but before that, where am I catching the ball in my body? Am I in the middle? Am I to the right side or am I to the left side? Now, where am I throwing from? And where is the quickest point of catching that I can unload the ball? So I'm catching this ball, the ball to my right, on the right side of center. So under my right eye. That way, when I receive the ball, I am already ready to unload the ball to second base. I am already in my throwing position. Instead of catching it on my left, having it to bring all, all the way to my right and throwing it to second, or even in the middle, bringing it to my right and throwing it to second. So another thing on the footwork, once I get to my spot, got the ball to the right side, I am sitting my butt down, sitting my butt down. And when I catch the ball, my butt is gonna stay at that height through the whole process. Now, a lot of guys will catch the ball in great position, butt down, but as soon as they go to throw, they'll lift their butt up. Now, what that causes is a little inconsistency in our throwing motion, and we end up throwing from down here, a little bit of submarine, which is a lot less accurate. So, sit in our butt, right side of center, and throwing from there, keeping our butt down, all right? And it'll keep us at this angle right here. This is where we wanna be. Another thing I see when we're going to our right, a lot of guys want to drop this left leg so far that our arm angle again ends up dropping down here. My shoulders are now open and I'm much more inconsistent here. The better you get, the more we want to leave that left leg there and fire this way. Everything is tight. It's, a, it's an extend and a pull. Extend and a pull. This tucks in right here. Now if I'm flying open, this is a much less accurate position and that's what we're looking for, accuracy. The ball is hit to my right, I wanna be right side of center in a position I can repeat over and over and over. That's the footwork on the ball to your right, turning two from shortstop position. The second zone I wanna talk about is the ball hit directly at you. Now you've got your positioning, you got your line in your head, so you know what you're doing with this ball. This is the only ball where there's a little bit of freedom here. You can do a flip if you're more comfortable, or you can throw it overhand if that's what you prefer. Um, I will go over both of those. Again, the overhand throw from the ball right at you is a lot like the ball to your right. We're positioning that ball to the right side of your body, sitting in your butt, making a strong throw from this position, from this angle, not wanting to drop below there. Now, to flip, we don't just wanna sit behind this ball and catch the ball with no momentum. That'll lead to me catching with no momentum and then kind of flinging the ball with all arm to get it to second base. So if we're gonna flip the ball, we already predetermined we're gonna flip the ball that's hit directly at me, we wanna create momentum. Now, how do we do that? We get to the right of the ball, time it up, catch, and it's a flip and a follow to create momentum. That way we don't have to sit behind and rely on all arm strength to make this flip to second base. Now the last zone is the ball to your left on a double play. Shortstop, turn into on the ball to your left. Now again, a lot of this is timing and momentum. Any flip I make, I wanna have some momentum. That way I'm not relying on arm strength here. Ball to my left, 
We're going to time it up, time it up, time it up. And instead of the right side, we want to catch this ball on the left side of center. Left side of center. The reason why is I don't need to catch it to the right and make a throw from my right. Now all I'm doing is catching left side of center and flipping directly from left side of center. I do not need the power to bring it back to the right. So ball to my left, timing it up, catching it left side of center, flip and follow. A couple things that have to do with that. Left side of center, the flip is not a wrist flip. It is a catch and it is a stiff wrist flip to my second baseman, all right? Giving it to him, not giving him this flip, which is, again, more inconsistent. And the final thing, when I catch the ball to my left, left side of center, this left leg needs to be driving through directly towards second base itself, okay? So we're timing, 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 driving the left leg towards second base, so my flip is all in line. Those are the three zones of turning a double play when the ball is hit to the shortstop position. Now, let me ask you this. Um, are there any situations where you're going to bypass the play at second and go directly to first, um, even with no outs or one outs? Um, give us a situation where that would be the case. So a double play play is all based on the speed of the ball hit. Bang. So if the ball is chopped and it's a slow hit, you should know immediately we probably don't have time to get the out at second and first. So the ball is chopped. If I get about even with the baseline or in front, I know I need to take the out at first base. I'm taking a sure out there. Instead of trying to make the crazy play, have this throw coming from the side and have a bang bang play at second, that is a telltale sign that I need to take the out at first base. If I get even with the, the baseline or in front. Well, there you go. The three zones for turning a double play from shortstop from uh, Nick Shaw. Don't forget to check out thebaseballbox.com. I'll leave the link down below um, where you can check it out, get your box sent to your doorstep monthly. And if you want to see more tips, Nick has shot a bunch of videos already uh, on fielding stuff, hitting stuff. So I'll leave links below to some of his best stuff. And we're shooting some more videos today. So be on the lookout for some new stuff. Be sure to subscribe to Hugo Pro Baseball and check out Nick on all the other social media platforms. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.